I can think of two. Go for um, it. One, I think, is a piece we wrote a couple of years ago for Animation Journal, which describes um, our archival philosophy and practice. I think that's uh, really would be an important thing for folks interested in the materiality of games and why we collect things and how we collect them. Um, that's one of our longest running projects, it's the archive, probably our longest running project, and so that would be a good, quick um, introduction to that facet of our work. And I might, the other piece I might be point to would be our 2011 book. Um, we've done a number of books, but that one, uh, it's called Gaming Matters. Um, it's not necessarily super fantastic or anything like that, but I think it, what it does is it shows our, um, maybe our playfulness, um, synthesis in terms of how we think work together, um, and our willingness to um, uh, to explore in our work. So, you know, we're not we're not incrementalists, um, and I think that's a, a book that that book is, offers a good um, uh, a good entry point to the, the ways in which we experiment through our work. Yeah, it, I would say it's it's uh, it, what makes it particularly good is. The, the breadth of the themes um, that uh, are depicted uh, there. As Judd said, uh, we're not incrementalists or periodists. We don't look at uh, the golden age of games or anything like that. We look at bigger kinds of themes. And uh, One great thing about working in an archive is that uh, we, we're constantly surrounded uh, in our workplace by thousands and thousands of examples of all the different things that games do. So. Uh, it's, a, it's a great resource, not only for us, but for all the folks who use it. But yeah, Gaming Matters would be a good starting point.